Hi everybody, it's that time. It's Sunday at 7, so time for Mary's Craft Room Sundays at 7. Um, I hope everybody had a wonderful week. I want to tell you that I have finally got my mojo back for crafting. It's hard when I take off for a little bit. Um, it's hard to get going again, but once I get going, I, I have no problem. So I have been crafting up a storm this weekend, and I want to share some of that with you before I get on to my feature card. So the last card I made this weekend is going to be, I just finished it up about an hour ago, and it's going to be for some classes I have coming up this week. I have two different classes, and it's going to be a cute, easy card made with celebration products. So I used the Thanks a Bunch stamp set that would be free with a $50 order, plus I used the Dandy Designs um, 12 by 12 Designer Series Paper, 48 sheets, a ton of paper in here that is free with a $100 order. So remember this month's host code is right here if you choose to order with me. And I made this adorable thank you card. I went on to Pinterest for some um, inspiration and then I took it from there and made my own, my own little version. So I used Granny Apple Green, um, I used Pumpkin Pie because I had the carrots, and then I used this green from the Designer Series paper. And then I used, um, the stamp up here is out of Pear Pizzazz for the greenery on the carrots. And then I took my blender brush and I did a little um, crumb cake on the bottom because it kind of had to come out of the dirt a little bit. And the rustic metallic dots, some twine, Threw in a little crumb cake there. This one is Granny Apple Green. And then just a cute, we've got thanks, a bunch, and a little bunch of carrots down there. And of course, we had to put the little bunch of carrots right here on the envelope too. So I thought that was super cute. I'm actually going to recreate it, like I said, for at least two classes this week. Um, hi, Bonnie, how are you? Um, and possibly a couple more that I have coming up. I will feature it next weekend, the 28th, um, not next weekend, weekend after, when I have my um, catalog launch, so I'll feature that. I'll try and do as many samples as I can besides the six cards I do. So that was one I did with celebration items, which I just loved. I uh, hope you like that too. Um, and then I've been using, I got the suite, the Fancy Flora suite, and it has two different um, bundles in it and paper. So I'm in a group of six other ladies um, throughout the United States that we do a suite swap, and I chose this suite to do, so I make four projects, and by this weekend I have to mail, or next weekend rather, I have to mail them um, some some uh, four different projects. Um, then you get you get the other suites back from other people, and then you have ideas for classes. This was the one I did today. This one took a bit, I'm, I'm not going to lie. So this is the shimmery paper that goes with it. Um, I used the 4x6 paper. I lined that underneath. This is the full die that comes in with something fancy. Um, so that one I had to, it was kind of tricky, I had to get the hang of what size I need, and, and it ended up being um, five and a half by four and an eighth, yes, four and an eighth by five and a half, and then it fits pretty close onto the card, and then I did this on the inside, and I thought it ended up being a beautiful card for wedding, so I used um, this die, comes in the two the two-tone flora. Uh, the die is actually somewhere on my table behind me, but it is a full cutout die. You can do, you can adhere it in two different ways. You can use either um, the adhesive sheets, you can put it on the back, or you can just flip it over, and I use a silicone mat, and I put some uh, ink on there, I'm sorry, some glue on there, the white glue, green glue, everybody calls it, and with a sponge, and I just dab it on the back of there, and then I can lay it on top of there. Gets a little sticky, but it works really, really well. Then this die um, comes in the Something Fancy set, and then they've got these cute little toppers that fit right in there, and so I was able to cut out a little hole, a little teardrop hole there, and then I used some gray 
um, smoky slate to just stamp on an outline of a flower and then I wanted this nice and dark so you'd used um, this is fresh freesia and I used um, orchid oasis what is my our color or <laughs> the orchid color um, for that and then I used the orchid there and fresh freesia and the uh, smoky slate so that is that card that I created and then there's the matching envelope so I think this is going to be wonderful for wedding cards. I'm probably going to use this for classes too. Even though this is a little bit putzier, it just makes such a beautiful card. And now that I have the hang of it, I can help others um, reproduce this fairly quickly. So did that one. And I'll get that set aside. And now for the ones that I am going to feature tonight. So this was... Um, this was the first color combo I came up with, and I had a little bit different fold. And then I found this fold that I liked a lot. So I thought, okay, we're going to go for it. And I did several of the colors and different options of sayings. So I've got a really nice thank you one here with Knight of Navy. And um, the one we're going to do tonight, I didn't forget your birthday. I'm just stretching out the celebration. Inside, you'll see when I open it up, it simply says happy birthday on it. Same thing with this one, it says happy birthday. This one is left blank inside for you to write on. It's just white inside there. And then with deepest sympathy is also just white inside for you to write on. Okay? I really like how this one turned out. It was soft suede and um, soft succulent. And the colors are just gorgeous for um, a sympathy card. And then use the Evening Evergreen that pulls that out in there. And I just loved it. So I have a class coming up Wednesday, and they are going to get these three. So they'll do the same fold, but they'll do a different sentiment and different colored papers. So they go home with a variety of cards. All right. Now, this one, I did not do anything with the envelope. Surprise, surprise. All right, let's see who else is here. Hi, Mary. Hi, Julie. All right, so let's get cracking here on this one. The one thing I like that I will um, be able to show you is this card uses up one full sheet of 6x6. Six 6x6 by six. Six by six is not always my favorite because it's hard to get, you know, a, a card out of it. This takes the full sheet and there's no waste. I love it. I got it figured out so it worked out really, really nice. All right, let's put that aside. So I'm going to untie my bow so I can show you or my Orchid Oasis the ribbon there. And then it opens up like that. And there's our fold. And those that know me know I like my little fancy folds. So then when I'm done with this, I'll tie that. That ribbon back together so this ribbon just wraps all the way around and we'll show you that at the end all right so let's get started I have two that are prepped that I have that I need to put together so I am going to do them both for you at the same time I saved time by pre-cutting these but they are used with the dies that come in there let me pull out my stamp set again so something fancy all of these different sentiments on here just fantastic um so it comes like i said it comes with those comes with these three and it comes with these two and then it comes with this little die here that i used on my celebration card i used that there i cut that out and then i just cut out a crumb cake piece i taped this down and then i cut the angles to match pretty easy All right, so let's put this stuff aside for you, okay, and get all of our papers out and let you know what our dimensions are. So I'm going to put my envelopes away because I don't need those. Put one over here. All right, so we have got our Orchid Oasis paper here. It is our normal five and a half by eight and a half, okay? We score at four and a quarter, like always, and then this one is one and a quarter, and that is it. So you'd score here and here, and you just fold it like that, okay? Then, let's see if I can put my 
paper together for you. Ah, hmm, hmm. Well, I'm going to take out one sh full sheet and show you how I did this. Because the white pieces that will go on here, that go on the card, you know me and my layering, the white pieces will be as, as such. They'll have, I'll have our normal four by five and a quarter on the inside, okay? This one and this one, because we'll do paper on each side, are going to be two and three quarters by five and a quarter, all right? And then you're going to have two and a half by five for this. This piece is going to be one by five and a quarter, and then we're going to do coordinating piece that's going to be three quarters by five, like that, all right? So when I take my paper to cut this out, what I did was I needed five inches, remember, on here? So what I did was I just cut an inch off. And what I'll use that for is the background. So I put that aside, and then I cut um, two and a half, two and a half, and I'm left with one inch, and I have everything that flows together then. What I try to do is keep in mind um, the one that started and ended it. So I put the one in the middle, so I did two and a half, then I do another two and a half, I put that one in the inside and you'll see because then when I put these together they kind of line up. Super fun. Okay. You, whatever you do is going to work out fine, but one full sheet works out perfectly. Hi Lorraine, how are you doing? So now let us start with a little stamping here. I used Calypso Coral for my stamps. And I'm going to get both white insides out. I know that when I put this together, I am going to have my paper here and my fold. So I know I'm going to want to put my happy birthday kind of in the middle here because I'm going to have um, my label cover that up. So I'm going to have my happy birthday down towards the middle. So I'll stamp those first. Okay. This is one, these skinny ones are kind of tough for me sometimes. Some, I always tell people don't rock your stamp. This is one where I kind of have to rock the stamp to get it on there. I'm not going to lie. All right. Now let's do these. And typically I will stamp first and then cut out. But I wanted to save time tonight, so I think it'll be perfectly fine. Works for me. There we go. Okay. Stamping is done. That is it for this card. So very, very easy with regards to that. Now we're going to do a lot of assembling. Okay, so we can put these in the middle. Ooh, we got a little cat hair hanging there. I'll tell you, I find cat hair all over the place. Oh, well, we got to get it taped down. <laughs> get the scissors out. That cat of mine. Get that in here, and I will only assemble one for you. I'll assemble the other one when I'm done with the video, so I can put that aside. And as long as we have this out here, then I'm going to put this down here on the edge. I just place it like I normally do with equal amount of white around it. Put a little tape on that. So, in case anybody is interested in doing any 
cards with me. Like I said, the 28th at my church is my catalog launch. And we will do six different cards. And you will see all kinds of um, samples with the other products that I have from the, the new mini catalog. And samples from Celebration will have little treats for you. And that is on the 28th from 10 until 2. And you do six cards. You can do more than six if you want. It's six cards um, for $20. Or it's free with a $30 order. Um, and then extra cards are just $3 a piece if you do more than six. You just have to bring your own adhesive or you can purchase from me. And we always have a really good time. And I do my um, card buffets every other month. So this is just the first one. All right, we're doing good. Look it, we're getting there. I'm going to put this one. So now I've got this pretty paper and I'm trying to figure out, I've got a little more purple on the top. So I think I'm going to put that on the top. Then tomorrow night we're doing a birthday, the birthday organizer kit class. I've got one person coming. I'm going to work on some other projects while she puts that together, but there is room for others. If you still want to come, I have plenty of kits. I'm going to have a Valentine's Day class. Um, I'll have the, that is already posted on my page. We've got, I'll do a take a or pick your kit class. I'll post that soon. So all kinds of stuff coming up. Okay, there we go. One last one. How quick it goes together. Once I have everything all cut and prepped. So class will be, it'll be pretty easy for class. They'll love them. And I love the colors in this. They're so pretty. They're so fresh and spring-like, even though we've got a long way to go until spring comes. They just love them. Okay, has anybody else out there been crafting lately? I hope you have. I hope you've had some time. There we go, and look at that. Look at, see how it, it kind of all flows down and it looks like it was all one piece because it kind of was. There we go. All right, so now how do I do that middle part? How the heck did I do that? What I did was, get that from out there. So I said I already cut, punched these out for us. Or not punch, die cut them out. So I'll adhere that. And then... We'll fit that right in here. They layer really nice together. I wanted that down just a tad farther. Get up in my screen here, sorry about that. Uh, that should be pretty good. What I'm gonna do is I want to use, I want to make it, um, so there's a hole on each side, so I took the uh, label me fancy punch that has a little slot and it's got a dot on it so like on this one I had a wider ribbon so I used the slot part and this one I'm just going to use the dot because my ribbon is skinnier so now in order to make this easier on me getting this lined up in here and where I should punch I took a pen guys and I went right in the middle and just put a dot. I eyed it up and put a dot right in the middle or what looked like the middle. So then I can just take that and slide it into my punch. Find my dot. It's really hard with this light. Uh, I, sorry, I got to look up at the light a little bit closer up here.
Okay, so I have my dot lined up. Punch it out. Now do the other side. There we go. Now I can see it. Punch that out. Now I've got my little holders for my ribbon. And I've got my Orchid Oasis ribbon right here, already pre-cut. I go between 15 and 16 inches to wrap around the card. And what I do is I start on this end and put that through. Okay, and then come back through the other side. And this fray is really, really easy. So you just want to be careful of that. Try and get that through without fraying too much. I'll cut it off when I tie the ribbon. All right, so now this will slide freely on here, but I want this to stay on the card, so I'm gonna put a little adhesive down on here like this, and then I'm gonna attach it to the card about in the middle. So I've got it there, and then the ribbon still slides through. Okay, and now, just a little crooked. Let's get out of there on a little straighter. Look at it. <clears throat> then I wrap the other side around. And then I will take it. I'm gonna hold this down so it's a little bit flatter. And I'm now just gonna tie a ribbon, or tie a bow. And I know everybody loves to tie bows, don't you guys? Just love bows. And I'm going to just put my scissors down here. Hold that tight. Wrap my ribbon around. And hopefully get it on the first try, and I did not. This ribbon is just really a little on the slippery side. It's beautiful, just a little putzier than some of the other ones. Plus, you're watching me. That always makes it better, too. And there we go. Okay. And now I've got my, my nice bow. And then they just untie it. I'm going to trim it up just a little bit. Because I've got the frayed ends. And just a little tip for you. If you're making a card like this, you can keep it untied until you are ready to write in it and then and sign it, and then you can close it up for the person who's receiving it. And there's that. And now we want to add just a little bling that came with um, the set. So we're going to put, we've got different colors that go with this. And we're going to put the Calypso Coral color on. I like that one. So we're going to take our take your pick tool, which I would not be without. And we're just going to put them put a couple of them up here like that. And then we can take the blue one that also goes with it and we'll just put that right there. And there you have it. Voila. Our new little fold card. What do you think? Hope you like it. I hope you like all of the other designs that I came up with for it. I really got to tell you, I'm in love with the Sympathy one. I'll probably make a few more of those. But the Thank You one is gorgeous too. All of the colors in this set are just phenomenal. They blend so well with each other. So there we have it. Don't forget, if you have any questions, you want to place an order, you want to consider, again, that great deal about signing up, um, just message me and I will be more than glad to help you out. Hope everybody has a great, great weekend. Hi, Angela. Hey, the, Angela, I do have the instructions handwritten out. I'm going to type them up for you um, so you can get it. And Mary, too, I know you guys wanted some instructions. So I'm trying to get them typed up and then I'll see if I can't put a PDF in there um, or message you guys individually anybody that wants the instructions on how to do this card. All right. Have a great week, everybody, and happy crafting. See you next Sunday.